Hello and welcome to part 7 of the Advanced Terrain Tutorial Series. Uh, in this episode we're about to take our texturing to a whole new level. Um, as you can see from this example we're going to do some pretty detailed texture work here so uh, all right let's get on with it. So if we just take a quick look at what we've actually got here, um, this little example map I've put together, we start off with a dirt, a, a dirt, a dirt road and it follows along, comes down here until eventually we come to our asphalt road and then the two merge and this is where the majority of our texturing is going to take place as you can see it's quite complex and it all looks quite nice um, if we follow this edge we've got our familiar broken edge that I showed you in the last tutorial if we come over here slightly different it's got the broken edge but then eventually it transitions over into this broken uh, sort of asphalt cracks uh, and then it carries on back into our familiar broken edge same on this side uh, until we get to the actual junction or meeting of the two roads so to speak just as a footnote before we get started here I have mentioned it before and in, in the introduction to this series of tutorials it's very important before you start to do any texture work especially to this sort of level with your terrain to get it perfect how you want it before you start doing this kind of work as in scale position displacements and that sort of thing because to to change it once we've done this level of detail to come in and have to change stuff again is just soul destroying I mean you might have to waste so much time redoing this sort of thing so it's very important to get your terrain correct before you start doing this sort of level of blending okay so this is the stripped down version of what we're going to be starting with and what we got we got asphalt road we got our dirt road and of course we got some surrounding terrain as well um, and what I should point out first if we just take a look at our road where they meet I've had to dissipate some vertices and do some additional welding just to make sure that the all of our patches are welded up correctly I have covered this in a previous tutorial as you can see on our dirt road we had more vertices in it because we just take a quick look I've raised the middle section I've raised some edges and I've also added some vertice columns in preparation for adding textures and that of course meant where these two roads meet as you can see here there's more vertices going into less vertices into less vertices again so I've just had to dissipate the verse but I have covered this in a previous tutorial so we should know about that so again going back to what I was saying about having a plan in place and making sure you're happy with your terrain before you start blending I'm happy with my dirt road I'm happy with my asphalt road you can see I've moved some verts around so it comes in and out a bit I've raised a little bit of height into it etc etc I've also added the vertice columns in I need again for preparation for my texture works so let's start with that we've already been through this in the last tutorial so I'm just going to do it quickly here without going into too much detail you know exactly what I'm doing here so I don't really need to explain it I'm just going to do it so I'm going to add that 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 <laughs> it's just blasting through it now but this is really just a, a demonstration of how quick you can be once you get into it and get a little bit of practice with it uh, I'm just going to blend that away click alpha slide that down okay that I'm happy with that one I'm doing this first because we're going to come back and change things and uh, do some multiple layer blending which in some cases although I don't like it there's nothing you can do about it it's just something you've got to do to achieve what you want to achieve so you sometimes you've got to do it uh, 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 flip that around okay move it about yeah that's good enough okay and remember to remerge your patches as much as possible okay so we've got our edge in place there already now we can move on a little bit and maybe do like I showed you uh, over there in my uh, introduction part the rough edge went into this cracked terrain so I'm going to show you how to do that first okay so we want this broken edge to transition into this cracked edge just to add a different flavor different look so it doesn't look so repetitive so what we need to do 
I want it in a certain area, so we're not going to use this entire patch, that would just be wasted assets. So I'm just going to split an area off, and I'm going to use that. So I've got an area there, copy and paste it, and I'm going to apply our cracked edge. Uh, I'm just going to cap it, and I'm going to blend away this edge first of all. Okay, so that's that done. But once I deselect this patch, you're going to see that our rough edge is going to become the dominant texture and we can't actually see our cracked edge so what we're going to need to do is blend away some of our rough edge to reveal our cracked edge <laughs> Jeez, I'm doing my own head in with saying that so since we've got multiple layers I'm going to use my drop down menu we've got the asphalt trim is what we want and we're going to blend away a certain area of this to reveal our cracked edge rather than our rough edge so blend that away completely and deselect and there we have it we've got our rough edge leading into our cracked edge and it all looks nice it's a nice little transition it just breaks it up it's just a little something different and of course now we've got it in place we could use any texture we like we don't have to stay with that one for example i could change it over to our dirt texture and it just adds a, a again just a little bit of a difference just to break it up but I'm going to keep it as my cracked edge because that's the way I want it. So now we're going to move on to our road. We're going to add a little bit more detail into this. And we're not going to put too much into it, but I am going to use this track texture. So I'm going to split this section away. Again, I've already had a plan for this, so I knew I was going to do it. Control C, Control V, natural, and then I'm just going to shift it into position. Yeah, that'll do for now. That's okay. Same on this side. Split it away. Apply the texture. And that's pretty much all we're going to do for now. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. We are going to come back and do a bit more. Since that's already split away, we might as well add another texture down the middle. Again, just to add a bit more detail, and why not? Okay, so what we need to do... I'm just going to blend away a little bit on this leading edge where they meet. Again, this isn't permanent. I'm just doing this now. Uh, but we are going to come back in and make that a little bit better sooner or later. And since I'm here, I'm just going to add a bit more with the grass on the edge. Blend away whatever I don't want. Wherever I don't want it. And... Okay, that's our grass done. Maybe get rid of that as well. So this is like a real-time example of what I'm doing here, rather than editing it and changing things around. Uh, I'm just going to do it in real time. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. It's starting to look a little bit more like something. Now we're really going to get stuck into it. Okay, so now we're going to try and bring it all together as best as possible. And to start that process, I'm just going to start splitting these patches just to give me an area to work with when I copy and paste. Again, it's all about keeping control of our assets. We're not going to do anything over here, so we don't need it. Okay, so I've got that split away. I'll probably split that along there because I'm not going to do any more up here. Okay, that should give me enough area on that patch. Yeah, yeah maybe split that away there. Split that away there, maybe. Okay, and on this patch, that'll probably do it there. And the reason I'm splitting these away, as you can see, once I reselect these, it's just going to give us an, an amount of patches we can copy and paste and do some blending with. So if I just copy and paste those now, and I'm going to use this cracked asphalt for my first texture. Um, I'm going to blend away around the edges where I don't want it first. I think that should do it for now yeah okay that'll do it for now and of course like we did over here we've got our trim piece uh, we want to blend that away or we could in fact get rid of it altogether in the areas we don't want it but I'm just going to blend it for now I'm going to use our advanced tool sometimes this will be more handy uh, okay let's blend that a little bit this is all just preliminary work. I'm going to be doing some more focused focus blending sooner or later. Okay, I'm going to blend that away a little bit. 
I'm um, just sort of blocking this in and I'm, like I say I'm going to come back and do some more detail soon let's cap those make sure they all line up because they are across different patches uh, yeah let's get rid of a bit more there a little bit more there okay that's that'll do for now um, okay our next job is going to be what, do, what else do I want is the question what else do I want I think I'm going to use some dirt okay so I'm going to add that in now again like happened over here our cracked asphalt is going to be our dominant texture as opposed to this dirt texture so when I release this you'll see what happens there you go you see our cracked texture is now our dominant one so I'm going to come back here and just use it in reverse where I want the dirt, I'm going to remove the crack. And where I want the crack, I'm going to remove the dirt, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm just going to maybe see how that looks. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe I'm just going to knock the cracked asphalt back a little bit to reveal more of the dirt. Okay, that's not looking too bad. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe blend a bit of that away. Again, I'm doing this in real time, <laughs> so you forgive me if the commentary is not spot on. I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time without talking nonsense. But we're sort of getting there. Yeah, yeah, cracked edge, maybe we'll blend that away. And it's important because remember, when we create a transition, between our asphalt and our dirt when we're blending away here if we blend away too much we're going to see our line and our transition is not going to work so we have to make sure we add enough but not take away too much if you know what I mean okay maybe that's a bit too much again I think I'll get rid of that tool and use the more focused vert blending on individual verts and that's what we're going to do now is just come in and make sure we've got enough blend where we want it and not where we don't so we're going to do some more focus blending uh, I'm going to take away from there just to knock it back you can see it's just small minor adjustments until you get it the way you want it okay kind of happy with that maybe we could knock the asphalt back a bit Let's knock that back on that edge and up here. Uh, let's add it a bit more here to cover up a bit more of our dirt. Yeah, that's looking okay. I think maybe we could probably add it a bit more in here and here. Yeah, that's okay. I think I'm going to knock it back here, though. So I'm going to knock it back on these two vertices to reveal a bit more of the dirt, maybe here as well. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere that looks a little bit more how I want it. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, back with our dirt. I might knock that back a bit. Uh, maybe here, just knock it back a touch. Again, this is real time. Apologies for the poor commentary. I just wanted to show you this in real time, you know. Okay. All right. I could keep going with this, I think, but we're we're getting there. We're getting somewhere close to where I want to be. It's starting to look a little bit how I want it. I think I'm going to knock back the asphalt just a little bit. In actual fact, I'm not going to knock it back. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to shift it just to get it a little bit more yeah sort of like that and now I'm going to knock it back because this is a little bit too prominent for me there okay so I've skipped ahead a little bit here I'm just going to keep knocking things back and just changing things around a little bit until I'm completely happy with how it looks uh, that's okay yeah that's okay maybe knock it back a little bit 
It's starting to get even better. Oh, you see, I can't leave it alone. I can't leave it alone. You have to know when enough's enough. <laughs> okay, that's, that's looking okay. So once we've done all that, the next step we need to do is just make sure we haven't got any excess patches that we're not using. In this particular case, our trim, we're not using any there. And we're not using any up to... Whoops. We're not using any up to that point either. So we might as well split it away and delete it. It's wasted assets. Okay, I think we're just about happy there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is a little bit um, of models and how we can use models to assist in our terrain. Okay, leave it alone. Right, models. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly add some of these models. I'm going to grab one of them. A little tip, once you've got a model selected, press and hold uh, Control and Alt and then left mouse button. Have these buttons up here selected for what you'd like, uh, whether it be scale or uh, rotation, and make sure it's planted to ground. So it's uh, Control and Alt, left mouse button, and it'll add all of the same model in different scales and making sure it's planted into the ground, quite literally in this case. So I'm just going to add a few of these about, decorate the scene a bit. Obviously I'd be a bit more careful if this was a a real map. I'm just right placing them randomly. Yeah, we'll have one of those over as well. Okay. Let's finish decorating this off a little bit. So how can we use models to help us with our terrain? Well, we haven't got too much of it going on with this little example. But if we did, we could use models, and I might take some flack for this, for hiding ugly spots in our terrain. If you just can't get it right, bang a model on it. Hide it with a model. There's nothing wrong with that. You can see multiple examples of that in the stock maps. And I've always said, if it's good enough for the pros, it's good enough for us. <laughs> so if you just can't get it right, don't waste your time doing it. Cover it with a model. Why not? I mean, come on now, you know? It's real life. <laughs> Why waste your time doing that when you could just bang a model into it? And there we go. We've dressed our seed a little bit. Too many bushes. Point being, that's pretty good looking. That's okay. We could play with it as much as we wanted to until we got it looking exactly how we want it. But it's a pretty good recreation. I've done that in real time. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm exhausted. I'll see you on the next one.